girls. How are you? Hope your um, how-to books are coming along well. So today we have kind of a big lesson. We're going to add two things to our how-to books. So I just want to review. Remember your how-to books have these things. They have a title. Well, these are our must-haves. We must have them, right? Title, materials, because you have to have all the things ready first, right? Steps on what to do. That's the order. Pictures, so that uh, things are really clear and easy to read. Commas for your list, right? We talked about commas last time. So today we're going to add more details to our writing. And the details that we're going to add is how you do something, where you might do it, or why. So boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to add one of those details to my sentence. Here's an example. Remember I talked about um, giving Daisy dog a bath. And I told you all the things that you would need to have to give a dog a bath, right? You have to have dog shampoo. You have to have old towels. You probably need some treats ready. Lots of treats for Daisy dog. You know what? She loves marshmallows for treats. So she gets marshmallows sometimes. She'll do anything for a marshmallow. All right. So anyway, here... Um, we have, I have, when you give a dog a bath, you need to have towels ready. But I didn't say why you need towels ready. Boys and girls, do you know what dogs do when they get all wet? What do they do? They shake, don't they? And the water goes all over. So the reason why you need to have towels ready is because a wet dog likes to shake and it makes a big mess. So I'm going to add that because that's why, right? Where might be in the bathroom, right? And how um, might be how to, you know, put the shampoo on or something. So I can have how have towels ready, and I'm going to add why because wet dogs like to shake. Let me turn that down. Wet dogs like to shake off. And if someone's never gonna give a, never given a dog a bath before, they're gonna find that out. Hurt they boys and girls. Wet dogs really like to shake. Okay, I have something else I want to show you. Um, so I told you we're gonna do two things. That's a lot. So you're gonna add some details to your sentence. It's not gonna be just like have towels ready. We're gonna say why. Um, or maybe I said um, take the dog to the tub. I might say in the bathroom. Right. That's where. I might say, um, get your dog to come. How? Give it a treat. Give it a marshmallow. All right, so boys and girls, the second thing we're going to do, and this is really important. This is something that writers do when they give directions. They use special signal words. Now, sometimes your steps may have numbers, like one, two, three, four. But boys and girls, we can put that in our sentences, too with number signal words. Like instead of saying one, I can say first. And say, instead of saying two, I can say second. Because second means the number two. The second thing is number two. Third is number three, and fourth is number four. So boys and girls, in your writing, you can add those words to show what order you should do that step. Without using the numbers, you can use words. So if I said, First, get all your materials ready for a dog bath. That I would use the word first. Second, get your dog in the bathroom, right? These are also some really helpful words for putting your directions in order. Next, then, after that, last, finally, and before. Those are, are, are all what we call signal words, boys and girls, that give order to our writing and it tells the reader what order they should follow your steps. Those are great words to add today. So what I want you to do is think about in your writing, how can you take a plain sentence and add how, when, or why, and expand your sentences, make them really strong, longer sentences, and then add one or two of these direction words to different pages of your story to give your story good order so it's easy to follow.
Boys and girls, you're getting to be really strong writers by using all these skills. Good luck today, and I bet your writing will get so much better.